Hey there, welcome back to another video of my series, Two Minute Tips. Today I'm gonna to be discussing with you the question, what bike should I get? So when people ask this in general, I always say there's three questions you should ask yourself before you go bike shopping. And the first one is, what do you want to use the bike for? Are you gonna use the bike to commute to work? Are you interested in doing a long distance cycle tour? Maybe you just want a bike for fitness or for getting around your neighborhood for fun. These are really important questions because it'll help you decide the most appropriate bike for the job you need it to do because there's lots of different bikes out there and it'll really vary depending on what you're doing and what you have planned. The second question is, what are you comfortable on? What are you familiar with? Did you used to have a bike? Do you have a bike now that's really great and you enjoy it? Because sometimes people think they want, as an example, a road bike because they see people on them and they look fast and they want to be like that. But if you're not comfortable with a road bike and maybe you also are planning on using it for commuting, it might not be the best option for you. So you want to think about what you're comfortable on, you know, and what your experience is. And that might help you start with the process of planning and getting a new bike. And the last question is, what's your budget? So this is a really important question. Uh, sometimes you have in your mind, I wanna spend $800 and I want this, 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 and that. Typically, the more you want the bike to do, the more it's gonna cost. So if you are looking for a bike for long distance touring and you need it to be really strong and durable, but you know, light and fast and comfortable, all these things might make the bike a little bit more of an expensive investment rather than if you just needed a bike for getting around the city and it didn't need to have a lot of gears or anything fancy. If you are thinking about doing a tour with us here at TDA Global Cycling, we have an excellent blog all about choosing a bike with some bike recommendations, things to look out for, and all sorts of good information. So you can find that in our How to Prepare series on our website or I'll put the link at the bottom here. Don't forget, you can always email me at eva at tdaglobalcycling.com if you have any questions or you wanna discuss this anymore. Thanks, stay safe and happy cycling.